for my first job, I worked with uh, an old copywriter, a Greek fellow named Teddy. Uh, Teddy taught me a lot of very important lessons. There's one that always stuck with me. He said the most important idea in advertising was new. It was a kind of itch the public had that you could just place your product in and it would soothe it like chamomile lotion. But Teddy also spoke of a far deeper bond, a bond on an emotional level between the customer and the product. Nostalgia. Can you get the lights? Teddy told me in Greek, nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. It's a twinge in your heart, far more powerful than memory alone. This device isn't a spaceship, it's a time machine. It goes backwards, forwards. It takes us to a place where we ache to go again. It's not called the wheel, it's called the carousel. It lets us travel the way a child travels, round and round, and back home again. To a place where we know we are loved. Hey, just a quick reminder that if you're not subscribed already, you can do so by clicking the big red button below. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to leave it a like. Thank you. Nostalgia is a weird feeling. Like the need to go back to a simpler time where you're, I don't know, little Tommy, eight years old. And all you did was watch TV, eat snacks and play video games. The perfect life, a life that is completely different than the complex present we live in where due to a global pandemic and lockdown, all I can do is watch TV, eat snacks, and play video games. But now I know Trump exists, so it's worse. Going back to the things we love is a great feeling, especially whenever they have updated graphics and more modern features packed along with them. It's great, we love it. But there's an interesting problem that comes along with nostalgia. Most noticeably in the nostalgic games that I played over the previous year. These problems are not the fault of the games or the developers, it's the problems that come with nostalgia itself. The feeling of nostalgia that brings me to these games and remasters, but it stunts me from getting anything more out of it than just nostalgia. Like most children, I was not an official esports pro gamer. Even though I did finish Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus in one weekend, and that deserves to be put into the Guinness Book of World Records. But for most games I played, I would play a bit of it and I would get stuck and I would give up on it and I would move on to the new shiny toy. And this is where I found the problem at hand. Although I was very excited to purchase the new game, I would play a little bit of it. I would reach the same point that I got stuck at as a kid, but now I would pass it because I'm an adult and also a pro gamer now, definitely. But then there was nothing. My nostalgia had run out and I just didn't want to play the game anymore. My nostalgia fueled my entertainment of these remasters. So it meant whenever I reached an area that the kid version of me never reached, that nostalgia train just shuts down. And for most of the games that I did buy, and I played a bit, and I got to the point where I passed what kid me got to, I just stopped playing. Because I didn't need to anymore. A good example of this is the Spyro Reignited trilogy. I only owned the second game, Ripto's Rage, which was enough for me 
because it had Alora in it and Alora was little Tommy's first crush. And even though I tried and completed the first and second game, because I had finished the second, I now had no interest in playing the third because my nostalgia fueled brain was completely satisfied after completing number two. So I just stopped playing it. There was no need for me to continue. So I didn't. And instead I picked up a new remaster and the cycle started again. So in conclusion, if there's any developers or game designers who are considering creating remakes and remasters of old PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 titles, like I don't know, Prince of Persia or uh, Buzz, the interactive quiz game, please be careful and understand that nostalgia is a fickle feeling and it won't make people stay after it has gone. P.S. If you're serious about making that Buzz the Interactive Quiz Remaster, disregard everything I've said and just make it, please. In fact, you know what? Send me a private message and I will happily fund that project. I have a little bit of coding experience. I will happily work on that project. I just want more Buzz the Interactive Quiz game. Please.